It's the most defining moment I've ever had in my business and sitting there in that room and hearing that for the first time and saying, oh my gosh, I don't know how to run a business. If my business is ever going to be 15 or 20 or 50 or 100 million dollars in revenue, the odds that I'm the guy to run it are very, very low. So I made the decision on that day that I'm going to figure out how, that, how to run a business. That's not going to be me. I'm going to learn how to run a business. And so that was my real awakening and my journey uh, into learning how to run a business. And it really is the springboard for everything that happened thereafter. And, 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 and I'll tie that all back together with this whole idea of culture and how you can use culture to grow your business. And hopefully, uh, by the time we're finished today, I can give you some really practical takeaways on how to build your culture in your business because I think it's super important. But one of the first things I did is I started reading like everything I could find on business. And the first person I read, I know you've all heard of him, his name is Jim Collins, right? And Jim Collins taught me the importance of identifying my organization's values. My core, the core values of my organization, okay? The core ideology of the organization. I'm going to talk about a lot today about this word, this thing called the core purpose. Every business has a purpose beyond making money, okay? And if you can figure out what your purpose is, and again, build your business consistent with your values around your purpose, then you're not, then you're not working. You're doing the things that you're, at, you're fundamentally great at, and that's what we wanted to do. And we decided that that was our core purpose. If my employees trust me and I trust them, then we're going to have a great culture, I promise you, every time. So to me, there's two really fundamental building blocks to building trust in an organization, communication and transparency. Lots of organizations get top-down communication right, fewer organizations get bottom-up communication right. So in our business, one time a quarter, uh, so three, four times a year, we send out uh, 10 questions to all the employees and they may range from something very specific and technical to something very broad and soft stuff. Like, hey, we just had employee appreciation month last month. What did you like about it? What you didn't like? That's the, soft, the softer side of it, working on our culture. We're doing that to try to build a culture of ownership where people want to participate and say, listen, I'm helping to run this business. And the other thing we're trying to do is we're trying to collect information that will help us make better business decisions. One time a month, one time a month, we spend the whole session going over financial statements. So we talked about transparency early, earlier. We are an open book management company. Uh, we share everything about our financial statements. We, we don't share individual people's compensation. That's always a question I get. That's all sort of rolled up into an SG&A number, but the rest of the details we share. So we've been sharing our financial statements with our company for, I don't know, 10 or 12 years. And I think it's a really key important part of, uh, of transparency. And we're trying to achieve implied ownership. We do a lot of things to, for our employees to achieve real ownership, but uh, implied ownership is the equity you get out of those kind of, trans, those kind of transparent conversations. Ultimately, we end up with this. This is the working on the business stuff, okay? So what this is, is it is every department within our, within our organization uh, with a very specific goal of working on the business for that quarter. Again, this is not in the business. This isn't sales goals. This is, I'm going to change a process in my business to make it better. And so at the end of this whole process, the one really important thing, remember I talked about communication and how important it is to this uh, entire process. At the end of this, at the end of this, we have to now tell our, give our employees feedback. It's part of the town hall meeting. We have to tell them, look, we chose your idea, but we didn't choose your idea. There's a thousand ideas that come out. We pick about 40, right? And so we've got to do a great job at talking to our teams about uh, what we're doing and why. We didn't choose your idea because of this. Didn't mean it was a bad idea. In fact, we think we're going to do it next month or next quarter. So having that kind of a, of a feedback loop is really, really important if you want people to participate and feel like they're, they're be, they're, their opinion is valued. It's hard to measure culture. There's lots of ways to do it. Simple way to do it. This year. Anybody know anything about the Gallup 12 questions? So the Gallup organization, U.S. business consulting firm, over a bunch of years looked at tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of data points from employees trying to understand what's important to them. <clears throat> and they came up with a list of the 12 most important things to employees. Okay? And they did it in order. One, the number one most important thing is, do I know what's expected of me at work? Number two, do I have the tools and materials 
to do my job? Number three, do I get to work on the things that I do best? Number four, am I recognized? Number five, somebody cares about me. Number six, someone encourages my development. Number seven, my opinion counts. Number eight, the purpose and mission of this organization is meaningful to me. Number nine, I have a best friend at work. Number 10, I get my progress discussed regularly. Number 11, or 12, I got my numbers off, sorry. But the last one is I have an opportunity to learn and grow. If you want to do something simple to measure how well you're doing with your culture, measure employee engagement and do it with a simple tool like this and an Excel document and survey monkey. Okay, that's how my, that's my contact information. Okay, so if you have other questions or you want to uh, talk more about this, it's one of my favorite subjects. I'd love to, I'd love to speak more with you about the topic of building a great place to work 